Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. I want to talk about Galileo. In the murky world, on the world of the skeptic uh, community, and in the higher echelons of the academic world, there has been going on for a number of years now um, what I would call a historical revisionism. That is to say, writing history from uh, a more skeptical point of view. And so one of the great places that the skeptics like to turn to and the academics to try and deconstruct Christianity and show that it was anti-intellectual is by returning to Galileo. And there they throw up a mothball of uh, myths about this man. The myth is basically runs like this. Galileo was a man of science. The church was a, a tradition and the church silenced Galileo. Therefore, the church is anti-scientific, and we shouldn't listen to Christianity. Boo hoo hoo, as they say. Well, in reality, this is a, a very simplistic reading of history, and it suits the skeptics and the academics of the West uh, to write Christianity in that light. The fact of the matter is, things were much more complex than um, you're actually told. And I'd like to introduce you to an article underneath here where you can get more in-depth analysis of the whole historical situation about Galileo. A couple of things need to be remembered. Number one, Galileo didn't provide complete proof for his theory. So there were many professors and thinkers who were still skeptical about his position. Secondly, both Galileo and the Pope of the time were quite vain and belligerent people and they just didn't get on. So it was much more to do with personality clash than it was actually to do with science versus religion. And thirdly, there was a power struggle uh, going on against Galileo with some uh, bishops, but also some of his contemporaries who didn't like uh, Galileo's arrogant attitude. And number four, it's often forgot when these revisionists uh, in the murky underworld of the skepticism on the internet and in the IRS nuances of academia, it is often forgotten that Galileo was a committed believer in the Bible and tried to do his science based on the Bible. This is something the historiographers uh, for the skeptic side and who, who try to um, rewrite Christian, uh, rewrite Western history often forget to inform and tell you. So there we are. We can go into detail. Go and read the article. It's a very scholarly article and will make you much more informed than what the academics in the West are telling you and also in the murky world of skepticism on the internet.